Hello, it's me again, Eric P. Uh, today's episode is about a friend of mine called Sai. Uh, you know how blokes get together in pubs and they start exaggerating about fights they've had and things like that. Uh, it's a story like that. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll give you a quick example, uh, just to show you what I'm on about, uh, and then I'll go on with the proper story. Uh, right, well, uh, I was in a bar uh, years ago, and I was stood there, and this girl, she was like a supermodel type. She'd been buying me drinks all night. Uh, I think she wanted to sleep with me. Uh, she kept mithering me. It was a bloody nightmare. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't planning on going home with her, but she really was persistent, you know. She just kept on mithering, buying me drinks and stuff. Anyway, I was stood there, and this big bloke bumped into me at the bar. He must have been about seven foot tall. He was huge. And I thought, I'm not having this. I said, oi. I said, what do you think you're doing? He said, uh... I'll do what I like, mate. I don't need to bother uh, what you think. If I want to bump into you, I'll bump into you. I thought, I'm having none of this. I said, right, you. I said, you're going to get filled in. I said, I'm not having any of this. Uh, he said, oh, all right, well, come on then, mate. You try it. Let's see what happens. Uh, so anyway, I took my shirt off. I thought, I'll try and scare him a bit, you know. So I started flexing my chest muscles. You could see he was worried. He saw me uh, physique. He thought, oh. You know, I maybe I've taken on a bit more than I should have here. Uh, anyway, so we got in a brawl. Oh, I knocked him all over the bar. His teeth were hanging out. Oh, pasted him. And, and in the end, I had him pinned down. And he said, look, mate, he said, I'm sorry I bumped into you. He said, I didn't know what I was messing with. I said, well, right. I said, don't do it again. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's an example of talking absolute nonsense. I mean, the girl was bothering me. The one that looked like a supermodel. She really was trying to sleep with me. That part of the story is real. Uh, but the bit about the fight, that was just completely made up. Right, I'll show you a quick picture, uh, and then I'll tell you the real story that my mate Sai told me in the pub. Right, here we go. Right, here we go with the main story. So I'm sat with Sai. I said, oh, hi, Sai. I said, uh not seen you in a while. He said, yeah. He said, uh, I got in a brawl last week. I said, oh, did you? Uh, well, he said it wasn't last week. He said it was about a month ago. He said, to be honest, but yeah, it was a proper, you know, proper big one. I said, why, uh, what happened? I said, he said, well, I was in this pub, you know, sort of strutting around, getting me drink. Uh, and I saw this guy had like a white vest on and a bald head and that, and a gold chain. And he started looking at me. He had like three of his mates with him. I said, uh, well, yeah, you best keep it out of the way then. You don't want any trouble with that. He said, well, that's... He said, yeah. He said, I didn't do that. I thought, right. I thought, he's looking at me. I thought, I'll fill this guy in here and his mates will back right off. You know, they they looked over. They could see I was a bit tasty, like, you know, seem a bit tasty. They thought, oh, you know, this guy looks a bit handy. Uh, but I thought, no, no. I thought, uh, I'm not having this. Uh, so I started staring at him. I thought, you know, you're going to get filled in. I thought, I'll just beat the big one up. You know, he's pretty huge. He looked like a proper gangster. I thought, I'll fill this guy in here and his mates will back right off. I thought, they won't mess with me again. Uh, so, yeah, I just carried on looking over. He come walking over. I thought, right. I thought, you are cruising for it, fella. I thought, you've got no chance. You don't know what you're messing with, are you? I mean, you know, I used to do a bit of boxing at school and all that stuff. I'm a bit tasty. Of course, he doesn't know this, but he must have looked at me and thought I was a bit tasty. But he tried it on anyway. Uh, so he comes over. I thought, right. You really are taking a risk, fella, coming over to me. You don't know what you're messing with at all. Um, you know, he don't, he, he don't realise how fucking handy I am. Uh, so he wandered over. I said, uh, want something? Uh, want some of a fella, eh? Bloke said, what are you looking at? I said, I'm looking at you. I am looking at you. What are you going to do about it? This bloke's like saying, look, I don't want any trouble, but if you carry on, I'm going to have to fill you in. I thought, oh... You're going to fill me in, are you? You going to fill me in? Oh, you've got no idea. You've got no idea how handy I am. I said, so uh, you ended up in a fight with him? He said, yeah. I thought, right, I'll just show this big fella, you know, the gangster type one, I'll fill him in, show him who's boss, his friends will just like back off. They'll talk, you'll see the fear in their eyes when I start filling him in. Uh, so I thought, right, I said, you are going to get tanked, mate. He said, I wouldn't try that if I was you. I said, oh, I wouldn't try it, eh? Oh, you have no idea what you're dealing with. So anyway, I pulled my hand back and I went, boom. I hit him with my biggest, hardest right hand. I said, and uh, what happened then? He said, well, to be honest, he said, I don't know. Everything went black. 
Uh, I woke up about an hour later in an ambulance. Things were, uh, yeah, he yeah, kicked the living daylights at me. Apparently he was kicking me around the pub for about 10 minutes. Oh, I was plaster casts everywhere. I had a neck brace on, my jaw was broke, my nose was bust. I had two black eyes, teeth hanging out. Oh, it was a right bloody mess. Anyway, if anybody ever says go for the biggest, hardest one in a group and the rest will back off, uh, just don't listen to them, because uh, I got proper filled in. Uh, so I said, right, well, uh, yeah, I think I'll listen to that advice. She shouldn't have really been staring at the bloke if he was that handy. He said, yeah, I know. Uh, next time I stare at somebody, I'll make sure they're a bit weedy. Uh, so, yeah, at least he didn't lie. Usually when people tell you these stories, they come out sounding like one of the Expendables. You know, they start telling you how they, you know, like Popeye on his spinach, you know, knock ten blokes out, all this stuff. He never bothered with any of that, so fair dues to him. Uh, right, well, that was a story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell and leave a comment if you can. Uh, if you do all that, I'll be dead chuffed. Right, thanks for that. I shall see you later. Bye. Yeah.